Hey, eighth grade. Uh, I have full faith that you would be able to figure this out without me, but I uh, want to make sure that I provide you with all the support you might need. I'm not here today. Got a doctor's appointment, but you don't need to know that. What you need to know is what is it we're looking at? What is it we need to do? So let's take a look uh, real quickly and get ourselves where we need to be. So if you go to classwork, obviously there's a, a link. That's different. There's a link that you're looking at right now that is, um, you know, not here. Asynchronous work. Check out this video. No, but here's what you should also see. Two things. First thing, in-person students prepare your Chromebook. And this is for all students who are attending or will be attending or plan to be attending in person. You need to make sure that you have a Chromebook extension. I guess it's a Chromebook app on your Chromebook. If we click here. We get this link. This link takes us right here. And this is the Chrome store where we can install uh, and, uh, this VexCode IQ. That's, VexCode IQ is a programming language that we'll use to program uh, the Vex robotics, uh, the Vex robots that we're going to be working with. You can see it's not compatible. I'm on a computer, not a Chromebook. That's why the problem is there. But it won't be a problem for you. So get that installed on your uh, Chromebook. That's an important step for to take. Now, that shouldn't take you too long. It's really not difficult, but it is the first little step to take today. The other thing to do is right here in the geometry spreadsheet. Last time we were here, uh, we worked right here on this first step, this validation list. We're moving on to the second step today, and that is right here, uh, this nine-minute video, conditional formatting step one. So two things I want to say. First, if you turned in the assignment, you're going to need to unsubmit it so you can keep working on it. If you don't unsubmit, you won't be able to make changes, save changes, any of that stuff. So make sure you unsubmit. Keep working on it. You don't need to submit this uh, document for quite a while, actually. So should be fine not submitting it. Again, uh, the geometry spreadsheet video is right here. So uh, take a look at the video. It's nine minutes. Watch, pause, do. Maybe it takes you 18 minutes. Add a couple minutes for installing an app. You're looking at 20 minutes out of 40 minutes total. You should be able to get in and out with, uh, with everything done in class in probably, I would say, less than half the time that you have originally scheduled or normally scheduled for class. So again, this video walks you through everything you need to do uh, in, in the um, spreadsheet. You can do some conditional formatting, which is kind of cool. It's gonna be a way that the user interface will make, uh, make the user know what we're doing. And then also you'll need to make sure you include a screenshot of that in your exit ticket. That's a big part of what we're looking at, okay? Again, you got a couple steps to take today. Get those couple things done. If you got any questions, shoot me an email. I'll do everything I can to help you. Despite the fact that I'm not in school today, uh, I'll do what I can to make you uh, make everything work for you. All right, guys, have a great day. Um, make sure you submit that exit ticket. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.